Looking up at the night sky, T. Corona Borealis might soon burst into life, outshining its neighboring stars for a few nights. Known as the Blaze Star, this star is located in the constellation Corona Borealis and has the potential to become visible again after nearly 80 years. In this video, we will explore the science behind this extraordinary event, why it holds significant importance, and what it can reveal about the universe and the life cycles of stars. Understanding the Science Behind T. Corona Borealis Flare UPS T. Corona Borealis, or TCB, is not just a single star, but a binary star system composed of a white dwarf and a red giant. These two stars are locked in a cosmic dance, with the white dwarf gradually stripping hydrogen from its red giant companion. When enough hydrogen accumulates on the white dwarf surface, a thermonuclear explosion, known as a nova, occurs causing a dramatic increase in brightness visible from Earth. This phenomenon is akin to a gigantic hydrogen bomb detonating on the star's surface, unleashing energy tens of thousands of times more powerful than the Sun's annual output. The fascinating part of TCB's story is its recurrent nature. Unlike supernovae, which occur once and destroy their progenitor star, novae like TCB can happen repeatedly. The system has had recorded flare-ups in 1866 and 1946, and some historical records suggest earlier occurrences in 1217 and 1787. The periodic outbursts are driven by the cycle of hydrogen accumulation and ignition on the white dwarf, making TCB a recurrent nova with a flare-up roughly every 80 years. Current observations have shown that the star began to dim in 2023, a behavior similar to the pre-eruption phase noted before its 1946 outburst. This has led astronomers to believe it might erupt again soon, possibly by the end of 2024 or early 2025. This won't be just a stunning celestial show, but also a rich source of scientific data. Each eruption provides a unique opportunity to study the physics of thermonuclear explosions on white dwarfs, allowing astronomers to refine their models of stellar evolution and binary star interactions. Observations using X-rays and radio waves enable scientists to piece together a more comprehensive picture of the underlying processes. The importance and implications of observing T. Corona Borealis. But why is observing T. Corona Borealis so important? For starters, TCB provides a window into understanding a class of stellar explosions that can occur in other star systems throughout the universe. By studying these explosions, we gain critical insights into how stars evolve, interact, and sometimes end in violent eruptions. Moreover, novae like this one serve as natural laboratories for studying the conditions that lead to more catastrophic events like Type 1a supernovae. This type occurs when a white dwarf accretes enough mass from its companion to reach a critical threshold, resulting in a catastrophic explosion that can outshine an entire galaxy. This is crucial to astronomers because these supernovae serve as standard candles for measuring cosmic distances, aiding our understanding of the universe's expansion. While TCB is not expected to become a supernova anytime soon, Studying its behavior helps scientists better understand the conditions that might lead a recurrent nova to evolve into a Type 1a supernova. The potential upcoming eruption of TCB is also significant for fostering public interest in astronomy. As Dr. Rebecca Honel from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center noted, this once-in-a-lifetime event is expected to create a surge of interest among amateur astronomers and the general public alike. With a growing number of people now having access to tools like binoculars and digital cameras, observing its flare could inspire a new generation of sky watchers and scientists. The stars brightening, visible even from urban areas, provides a unique opportunity for people worldwide to engage with astronomy directly, ask questions, and perhaps even contribute observations that could add to the scientific understanding of this rare event. What we learn from T. Corona Borealis and future prospects. So, what triggers the precise moment of ignition in recurrent novae? How do these explosions evolve? And what role do magnetic fields, accretion rates, and other factors play in shaping the nova's characteristics? Every nova event offers a new piece of the puzzle, and TCB's flare is no exception. 
One intriguing aspect of TCB is its unpredictable nature. Although there is a high probability of a flare in the coming months, some astronomers, like Ed Murphy from the University of Virginia, caution that predicting novae is far from an exact science. Historical records show variability in the timing and intensity of these eruptions, suggesting that there could be more to learn about the underlying mechanisms. For instance, the relationship between the pre-eruption dimming phase and the Nova event is still not fully understood. Murphy expresses skepticism about whether the dimming necessarily precedes an imminent Nova, noting the lack of a proven mechanism to explain such behavior. This uncertainty keeps the field dynamic and encourages astronomers to continuously refine their theories. Furthermore, advancements in observational technology promise even more discoveries in the realm of Novi and other transient astronomical events. The upcoming Vera Rubin Observatory, set to become operational in the mid-2020s, will provide continuous full-sky surveys that could detect transient events like Novi much more efficiently than ever before. This new era of astronomy could uncover many more recurrent novae that have previously gone unnoticed, providing a much richer data set to study these fascinating events. For now, all attention is on T. Corona Borealis. Both professional and amateur astronomers are eagerly waiting to see if this distant binary star system will brighten up again. If it does flare up, it would be a powerful reminder of how active our universe is and could inspire more exploration and discoveries in astronomy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed exploring the fascinating potential of T. Corona Borealis and what its flare could mean for our understanding of the universe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting cosmic updates. Keep your eyes on the skies, stay curious, and join us next time as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Until then, clear skies and happy stargazing.